Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to add conditional logic to your badges on your product page. So I've already got a set of four badges that I've added to my product template. But the way they're set up right now is they show up on all the product pages regardless of product characteristics. So for example, maybe not all of our products in the store are made of carbon fiber. Maybe all of them don't have a limited warranty. So we're going to go into the app and add in some conditional logic to only show certain badges on certain conditions. So let's go into our Shopify admin. I've already got the Badgezilla app pinned to the app listing, so I'm going to open that up. And you'll see the four badges that we saw on the front end of the website showing up here under the product tab under choose badges. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on that add condition icon and look at adding conditions for them. Before we do that, I want to show you the product that we're looking at, which is the uh, complete snowboard here. So that's this one. And you'll see that uh, the title of this is the complete snowboard. We've also got some tags. There's a made in Canada tag and a carbon fiber tag. So knowing that information, I'm going to go into the Badgezilla app, and for the Made in Canada product seal, I'm going to add a condition, so it brings up this modal, and remember that was a tag, so I'm going to select tags, and contains, and then it was Made in Canada. And we want to display the badge if that is the case. So we're going to hit save. Same thing for carbon fiber, that was a tag, so we're going to have tags, contains, carbon fiber. We're going to display the badge in that case. And the last one we'll have a condition on, we'll put it on the uh, one-year limited warranty, and we'll say that anything with a product title contains snowboard and whatever text you put in here is not case sensitive so if it happens to capitalize or not capitalize and get it wrong that'll be okay in this case we want to display the badge so i'm going to save that now i'm just going to go into the last we're not going to save the condition we, we look at here we just want to show you that how many pieces of information we can look at right we can look at the product type we can look at the tags we can look at any meta field that you've added to your products we can also look at the price, the availability, the product title, the inventory, and the vendor. And depending on which one you pick, the logic will change. So you can see product type um, has these set of rules. But if we go down to, let's say, inventory, which is a number, we're going to have is equal to, is greater than, is less than rules. So the rules will change based on the data type that you select. And that gives you lots of flexibility on, you know, the complexity of the rule structure that you put in place. So the nice thing about this is you could, you know, add 10 different product seals, um, which is a lot for a product page. But with all this conditional logic, you're only showing three or four on any given product based on what rules you set up and how that product matches to those rules. So now we have uh, saved these settings. And we're going to go out to the front end, and we're actually going to, all these are still going to stay because all those conditions are true. But if I go into another snowboard, you'll see that this one has the one-year limited warranty because it has snowboard in the title. But it doesn't show the made in Canada and carbon fiber because we didn't have this snowboard tagged with those tags. So you can see that the conditional logic is working here. So that's how you can have the appropriate product seals show up on your product page based on rules that you can set inside the Badgezilla app. Thanks for watching.